Now, I know we already uh, did a monologue earlier in tonight's show, but because we haven't had a studio audience since our return, you know, we're worried that it feels, I don't know, a little dead. So we want to try an experiment, which is this. I'm going to do some more monologue jokes, and we're going to use a laugh track to see how it feels. It's not something we do in ordinary circumstances, but I do think, you know, it'll liven the show up a little. So we're going to have our stage manager, Tom Yusuferi, stand at a safe distance and operate a laugh track machine while I tell my jokes. <laughs> That's great. All right, thank you so much, Tom. Happy to help out, Seth. Okay, so with that, let's get to the news. During a recent press conference, President Trump urged Americans to stop politicizing the coronavirus, or as he calls it, the Democrat virus. Tom? What? Everything okay with the uh, button over there? Yeah, working great. So, where were you with the laugh after that joke? Oh, so you want it for all the jokes, uh, no matter how... How what? Oh, no, nothing. I I'm sorry. I'll press the button. <laughs> uh, thanks, Tom. It just, it really defeats the purpose if you don't do it right after the joke, okay? Moving on, a man in England recently gained attention after drunkenly ordering 200 chicken wings on his Domino's Pizza app. 200 chicken wings, or as it's called in America, a serving. Tom, what are you doing, buddy? Uh, just waiting for the joke, Seth. Finger at the ready. That was the joke, Tom. What was? 200 chicken wings, or as it's called in America, a serving. Oh, wow. My bad. I, I, I guess I just didn't get that one. Here you go. Yeah, great, but again, I, I just want to reiterate for the next one, Tom, it really only works if the laugh happens right after the joke. You understand? Yeah. Okay, great. A 103-year-old woman in Michigan got a tattoo of a frog last week to check it off her bucket list. <laughs> Tom, that was the setup. Oh. Yeah, there's a setup and then there's a punchline. The laugh goes after the punchline. Right. You know, I think the problem is that it's sometimes hard to tell where the punchline is. Well, what do you mean? The punchline is the funny part. Well, I get that's how uh, that it works for most comedians, but I don't know. You're very subtle. Subtle? As a compliment, Seth. Subtle is good. Dry humor, like the British. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, like John Cleese, Rowan Atkinson. Man, now those guys are funny. You should watch them and... And what? Nothing. I'm ready, Seth. I promise I'll get it right this time. Okay. NASA announced last week... <laughs> Tom! Sorry. I just got the chicken wing joke. Good one. NASA announced last week that it will no longer refer to planets and galaxies by offensive nicknames, so keep an eye out tonight for the Husky Dipper. <laughs> so what, what was that? Oh, well, I realized that the button has settings for different kinds of laughs, you know, so you can pick something appropriate for each joke. And what was that one? I'd rather not say. I would love for you to say. Polite chuckle. Tom, I need you to put the dial back where it was. You got it. Okay. We got one last joke. You sure you're ready this time? You bet, Seth. According to a new report, fortune tellers in New York City have seen a large uptick in customers amid the coronavirus pandemic, and everyone's asking the same question, will I ever ride the subway again? <laughs> See? Tom, that was perfect. Thank you. You're welcome, Seth. Were you thinking about John Cleese? I was. All right.